This is Dr. Don, and we're going to take a couple of minutes and walk through a paired samples t-test using StatCrunch. Here's the situation. We have a medical researcher that has a new drug, and the researcher wants to determine whether or not a drug, the drug changes body temperature. So they select seven participants, randomly chosen, and their temperatures are taken before they take the drug, and then 20 minutes after they took the drug, their temperatures are taken again. Now, we're told to assume body temperatures are normally distributed, which they generally are. And we want to use an alpha of 0.05. Our significance level there is 0.055%. .05, and we want to know, is there enough evidence to conclude the drug changes body temperature? So let's jump into it. I'll show you how to do it with StatCrunch. Here's the data on the seven participants. First column is labeled before, and it's got their temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit. And then we've got a column labeled after 20 minutes, and those are their temperatures. So to do a two sample t-test paired, we're going to go to stat first, go down to t-stats, and we want a paired sample, not a normal two sample and we click on that first thing we need to do is to select the data in column one which is our before data that's sample one sample two is in the after column we don't have to worry about grouping or having any special coding here we do want to save the differences between the two uh, data sets. So that's important. Check that. We're doing the hypothesis test for the mean difference, mu d, mu 1 minus mu 2. Our assumed null difference is 0. Our alternative is not equal. The researcher wants to know, uh, believes that the drug will make a difference in the before and after temperature. We want to get the critical value, so I'm going to click that and double check, make sure that the significance level is what we want, 0 0.05. Down here at the bottom, I want to select the p-value plot just so we can see that uh, plot, which can be interesting. And then we click Compute, and we got our results. First thing I like to do is just read over this top part to make sure it's what I wanted. I wanted the mean difference with mean 2 subtracted from mean 1. And our assumption is of not equal for the claim. Uh, the dip before and after, the mean difference is 0.557. Now, that's one of the answers that you usually have to get. The other thing we need to get is the standard deviation of the differences. This gives us the standard error. And, of course, we could back that out. But I'll show you another way to get it. Degrees of freedom is n minus 7. We've got our sample size of 7 minus that is 6. Our test statistic is 1.596. We've got a critical t value because I checked that and set the significance level is 2.447. And there's two of them. There's a plus and a minus because it's two tail. And we've got a p value of 0.1616, which is much larger than our significance level. If we go here to our p-value plot, we can see that these lines are our test statistic above and below because we want to check to make sure it's as extreme or even more extreme. And that can be above the mean, a positive difference or a negative difference. The area under the curve here is 0 0.08 above and 0 0.08 approximately below. And that gives us our total of 0.16. So that's the first part. Now let's get that uh, standard deviation of the differences. That's why we got this difference column. I'm just going to go over here to stat again and go to summary stats, columns. And we want the differences. And we want to get the mean. Click on that. Hold down the control key. Get standard deviation. And then click compute. And there's our mean differences, the standard deviation of the differences as well. Again, you can see the mean here is the same as the mean there. And if you did the arithmetic, uh, divide the standard deviation of 0.9235 uh, 
by the square root of 7, you'll get that value right there. So I hope this helps.